Hey guys. Okay, so I wanted to do a things I have been loving lately video. I have all different sorts of categories here. I have makeup, from makeup to just my personal everyday life, what I've been loving. And this is my summer edition. So basically what I have been loving for the past few months, there's only a little bit of summer left. So first I'll start off with makeup since this is mostly a makeup channel. And makeup that I have been loving this this summer, I get super excited whenever I take out my NYX Glitter Palette. It has 21 different shades of all different glitter. It is absolutely amazing. I use this blue a lot. And I've used a lot of this pink so far the most out of all of these. It's super fun. It, Whenever I grab this palette to put my makeup on for the beginning of the day, I pretty much think, wow, this day's going to be fun because I have glitter on my eyes. Next, I've been using this for quite a few months now. For a couple months, maybe now? A few months. And as you can see, I've used about that much, so I have... That much left, this much left. And it is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I am in NC15. And this is an amazing foundation. This is my first high-end foundation and I honestly love the high-end foundation right now. It doesn't make me break out, which is super nice because whenever I use a drugstore foundation, my skin tends to, I believe, break out from it. I'm not sure I'm testing that theory right now. But I absolutely love this foundation. And then my favorite contouring lately is ELF's Blush and Bronzer Palette. And it's just perfect for my skin tone. And it's easy to blend. It's just my favorite contour. And then any sort of lip pencils lately are my favorite especially any in red this is NYX's hot red which do a swatch for you guys so you can see it is a very vibrant red and it's been one I've just grabbed and definitely had in my purse quite often so, and then I absolutely love Revlon's lip butters and I love the color sweet tart which is a nice vibrant pink and it's basically my go-to pink I like to wear for days where I feel like wearing pink lipstick instead of red because it's summer so it's nice to wear a vibrant pink every now and then during summer also my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette uh, this is my very first makeup palette I've ever bought in and I absolutely love this one to be more specific. I love Velvet Revolver and Heaven and I also really love Silk Teddy. So those top three corner ones. These ones. Absolutely love those. This is one of my favorite palettes to use. Okay and then next is skincare. Um, for my face, my absolute favorite face wash right now is Fresh Pharmacy. It's been my favorite face wash for, I don't even know how long I have been using this, but ever since I started using Fresh Pharmacy, which you can get from Lush, just a bar soap, it's kind of ugly right now because I've been using it. Um, I've had the clear skin. This helped clear up my skin so much. It is insane how much this helped clear up my skin. The only bad thing about this is I have a hard time getting it to suds up in my hands. So I have to work it a bit sometimes. Then sometimes it's quite easy, but with what it does to my skin, I don't care. And then my favorite soap is Honey I Wash the Kids, which it's wrapped in... Um, clean wrap right now to keep its freshness um, which is also from Lush it's I just think it's a fun and perfect summer scent it's a toffee honey type of scent it's amazing and then I also have a little sample of it it's um, Imperialis 
moisturizer, face facial moisturizer from Lush. And it smells like blueberries, as you can see, I really like, I need to actually buy a full thing of it. But it makes my skin feel so soft and I think it smells like blueberries. So I really love it. And then I have the Brazened Honey Facial Mask from Lush. And this is my favorite so far out of the ones I've tried. I've tried Cupcake and I've also tried Love Lettuce. And this one's my favorite out of those. And this is what it looks like. It's just, it makes my skin feel the softest out of the three. Out of these three I've tried, this one makes my skin feel the softest on my face. And I can't stop touching my face whenever I'm done using this. So this is definitely a face mask I will be repurchasing from Lush. And then I just have two lotions that make my day whenever I grab them. And they're the Signature Vanilla line from Bath & Body Works, which I'm not sure if they're still available. But I love the Apricot and the Cherry Vanilla. And I always get compliments whenever I wear these. Everyone's always like, you smell really, really good. I'm like, oh thanks, it's my lotion. It's pretty awesome. It smells really good. Even Chris likes it. And that was it for skincare. I'll move into hair products now. Um, I've been obsessing over wearing my hair up in a bandana, like so in this video, because it is so hot outside. If I'm not feeling like wearing a bandana, I will put in one of, one of my bows which is another obsession of mine this summer is bows. I just love bows. Um, these are my top three favorites that I like to wear. Well, I have top four favorite. So this one is my Batman one. This one's my one of my favorites. This one's so much fun. I love the comic. Basically the comic print and I love the comic print. I think it's fun. It adds pop to my blonde hair. Looks good against it. And then this I'll say this one. And then skulls. My skull one, which I believe you just saw me wear this in a video for an outfit of the day. This one's one of my favorites. I love anything with skulls. It's fun. It, I love big bows too, for the most part. And then this one is my number one favorite, which is my Beetlejuice bow, Beetlejuice inspired bow. I love, I've been obsessed with Beetlejuice, which leads me to this one, which is from Hot Topic. These bows are from Rockabilly Revolt. And this one's from Hot Topic. And it came in a set. There's a second one, but I have to find it. Um, I absolutely love this. It's a skull, and it has, like, the Beetlejuice stripes, which is amazing. And it's just so creepy and cute at the same time. Oh, I love it so much. And I've been obsessing with Beetlejuice so much. I love Beetlejuice, and I hear there's going to be possibly... There's talk of writing up a script or a screenplay, writing up a second one. So a sequel. And Michael Keaton's probably still going to play Beetlejuice. He's interested. He's definitely interested. And I'm so excited. Aren't you excited? I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, so leading off from the bows, my next obsession this past summer has been starting my own business, which is making hair bows. Which most of those bows, three out of the four, except for the last one I just showed you, I made all those and I've been quite obsessed with starting my own business and being really legit about it like I even have business cards which how cute are these got the stripes because the Beetlejuice and then this skull with a bow I even have like my YouTube on it so I'm in love with my business cards they're pretty awesome and I've been so obsessed in, with my business and basically making a jit, promoting it. I even have a craft fair where I'm going to have my own table displayed with all these bows coming up soon at the end of August. And I'm pretty excited about that. I've been very, I've been working pretty hard at that. I have like 30 different bows and 
there's a link down below if you're actually interested in any of my bows. Um, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I've had quite a few orders, and it's been it's been a lot of fun. So next, I'll do because we did scents. I'll do candle. I stumbled across these candles at Target. I don't know what brand this is. I've looked, I can't find out who, <clears throat> I don't know what brand of candle this is. And it makes me sad because this is the strongest scented candle that I've ever owned. This is, this is so, first it's so cute. It's in like a carton of ice cream. It's got a little blue ribbon sticking off of it and I got blueberry cobbler because I've been obsessed with the scent of blueberry. So you open that up and you've got your candle in it. And I've burned quite a bit of this as you can see, like a little bit more than half. And it smells so good and it smells, the scent is so strong that I just, I can smell it while it's burning and I can smell it after it's been burning and it makes me so happy. I, I just, I love that candle so much and they have a cotton candy one which I want to get they have a couple different scents which I do want to try out and I hope they like have different scents for each of the each of the seasons because these candles are amazing and then just some random well everything's kind of been random um, as I told you I've been obsessed with the movie Beetlejuice I'm also obsessed with Sleepy Hollow. I finally just bought it so I can finally watch it again. And basically, as you can see, I've been obsessed with anything that's kind of like creepy and awesome, you know? Tim Burton, pretty much. I've been obsessed with some Tim Burton. Yeah. Such a good movie. Such a good movie. I'm so excited to watch this. Tim Burton's amazing. And then, I've been obsessed with drinking out of mugs. I just, even if it's not coffee, I want to drink out of a mug. And it has to be a cute mug. Like this awesome, striped Cheshire Cat mug of mine. And it has to be a huge mug. Because, let's get real, this has juice in it. Because I love juice. And speaking of juice, Arizona Fruit Punch. Been my obsession this summer. Arizona Fruit Punch. So yummy. So yummy. Oh, I almost broke out into a Yo Gabba Gabba song. And the last thing I want to show you guys, which is my favorite. Oh, I have two more things. Okay. I've been obsessed with polka dots. Anything with polka dots. This I got from Target. It's one of those like dollar containers. And I store my really tall brushes in it. And it's polka dots and it's awesome. And then last thing is my new phone. Phone phone. It's a My Touch. I got it from T-Mobile. And it's so awesome. And I want to introduce you guys to this. Pixar amazing editing system and I've also been obsessed with Instagram so Pixar Instagram photo grid anything with photography I've been obsessed with on my phone any photography apps so yeah that's just the things that I've been loving this past summer and uh, it's been a really good summer so far I thought I would be even more miserable being pregnant during summer but it actually hasn't been that bad but because it's been raining so I've been inside so but yeah so I'm if you guys want to if you guys have a favorite summer video why don't you video response it and I'll love to watch and see what your favorites are this past summer or just why don't you comment down below and tell me what have you what have been your favorite summer products or just favorite summer obsessions even so I hope you guys have a great day, and subscribe, comment, request, all that good stuff. Bye.